what is going on everybody welcome to the stream hope you're all having a great day what's up dog tag how are you doing today brother man hope you're doing well uh what do i want to do oh yeah i want to check out this get out of here let's get the fly live studio going Dude, I want it so bad. I'm so ticked because I so badly wanted to be on Vatsim today. And we are still on Vatsim, but the uh, controllers here in Phoenix got off. And it's really upsetting because we had a really cool call sign today. And I was gonna go with Amer American One was our call sign but it's okay. We'll have to fly to uh, Dallas, Fort Worth as American one, talking to ourselves. Dallas, Fort Worth Center is up, so we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll stay up for us as we get over there, but um, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of faith, but we'll see. All right, let's do this thing. American one, there she is. The beautiful and updated 787-9. Uh, yeah, I know. They are rarely on, but they were. And that's why I wanted to uh, take advantage of that today. And uh, we missed it. We missed our window. Um, I got the GSX going a little early because I thought it would take forever, but it loaded it super quickly. So all 350 passengers are um, just about ready for us here. So we're going to have to catch up a little bit. Um, let's take a look at the, actually let's go back to the menu here. Initialize the flight performance. Um, we'll just copy the FMC data. It didn't really do much for us there. Is this? Anyone in San Diego or LAX on, they usually cover that area. No, nobody nobody else to the west is on. San Diego Tower is on, but um, not uh, anything else. What do we got going on here? All right, so I guess that doesn't work. Okay, interesting. Um, let's just uh, keep moving. I was looking, I'm not going to lie. I... Uh, We're going to have to look into how to use this ACARS system a little bit better because I honestly have no idea. Are there... Are any of these other pages going to work here? Okay, they will. Just weird click spots. Okay. All right, let's just go to departure arrival page here. Uh, Phoenix, again, has nobody on anymore. So we're going to look at... We're going to pause the music as well. Um, Phoenix has nobody on anymore. It looks like, though... Okay, so we can take off on... Runway 26, it looks like, is what they're using. Weather, uh, 210 at 5, so pretty calm stuff today. Taking off 26, let's just make sure everything works. If it wants us off 25 right, we should still be able to take the Eclipse 1. Um, with the phase transition. Go ahead and set that. And we'll go for the arrival into Dallas-Fort Worth today. Uh, ILS 18 right, it looks like. We'll plan for that for now. Switch it later, probably. Um, the BOOV. The BOOV 6. There it is. BOOV 6 with the geeky transition. So we'll go ahead and file all that stuff in there. And we'll take a look at the plan phase and just step through everything and make sure it looks halfway decent. Uh, let's get the data on for now, and that's it. All right, everything looks pretty good there. Um, pretty basic run through of everything. Let me just take a look also at, I think you have to go to like, you have to go somewhere weird for... You have to go like the settings. Ah, yeah, here we go. Settings, weight and balance from OFP. 
and fuel 35.7 that checks out as well so let's go ahead and go back I'm gonna go back again I'm gonna see maybe is it in like nav data? that'd be weird alternate no that'd be weird yeah I don't know where this menu is for the the new and improved feature 369 on the zero fuel weight that checks reserve fuel we're gonna have uh 12 12.0 i believe is gonna be our final numbers there cost index today 68 and that's gonna do everything there um in terms of performance i don't think we're really gonna get a whole heck of a lot Our data oh here we go okay so now it's good go back to the efb I'm on the EFB. This EFB? Condition dry. Wind was pretty calm. 210 at 5. 210 at 5. Outside air temperature is... Uh, 33. Whee -whee. 91. Goodness gracious. It is a hot one. 2990 on the altimeter. And thrust rating will go, yeah, can we go just optimum flap configure, optimum, anti-ice, off, definitely off. Let's go ahead and calculate that. Uh, does it, oh, it wants us to input the CG ourselves. Let me check it out. Um, the CG was, NRF, CG6, is that right? In on the FCU and then load, okay, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Six, I feel like, is a terrible number for that, but we'll see what it gives us. Flap 5, 143, 148, 156. Um, we'll go ahead and send the output there. Cell temp 52. Um, cell temp was 52. It was accept or reject on takeoff page. Takeoff. Accept. Okay, there you go. You rate two. Oh, 25 on the CG. Okay, I'm an idiot. Let me see this again. 25. Let me recalculate. Okay, pretty much the same, but we'll go ahead and just resend the numbers over there. Accept those. Oop, on. 575 on the trim. Let's get that in there. Uh, Put 30 for the, yeah, for, yeah, that was like six was way too, way too low there. Um, okay, 52. Everything looks good there. We'll do climb, thrust, and yeah, okay. Pre-flight complete. Uh, let's just go to the prog page and we'll leave that. Actually, we'll put the performance numbers up over here. Keep that page there. Let's go overhead and get the um, hydraulic pumps to auto, passenger signs on, fuel pumps on. Do we have fuel in the center tanks? We do not. So just the outside pumps, packs can come on and we'll go auto anti-ice system there as well. Okay, let's start up the APU. I'll be on 18.7 for tower. For our flight today, we're going to be cruising at flight level 390, an hour and 45 minutes in the air, two hours, 15 minutes on the block. Um, so, yeah, that'll pretty much do it for that. This, it's, it's getting there. The beautiful American library today. Um, let's go ahead and get the... Let's get, just get the beacon light on and let's start getting ready for pushback this here. If they'll do it for us, I don't know. Prepare pushback and departure. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't do it. it looks like they're gonna. Okay, 
Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. So yeah, honestly, I don't know... I don't know where the ACARS system is here in uh, this FMC. Like, am I missing something? You think it'd be FMC calm? And there's like nothing. There's just like nothing that I can really do. Request the winds. Load them up. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I honestly don't know where that, where it is. So, uh, so much for this big new system that I can't find. Should have done some more research on it. I thought I would, I just thought it would be a little easier to find. Maybe, is it like somewhere? British Ab Geek 780, print out the 787 checklist dog tag. Yeah, dude, maybe I need it. Holy smokes. Info? Locking no. Gear. No, go back. All right. CDU down here, ND up here. Hmm. Definitely get traffic up. And that's it for now. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I like whenever you can zoom in like this. We're going to nose to the right. Release parking brakes, please. Go ahead and release the brakes for them. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right, love the old 787. Start them both at once here. Let's go ahead and start one and two and give the fuel as well. Go down to where you hit the CDU button. Okay. Now we'll take a look at it as soon as we do engine start here. Also, I have no idea if these engine start sounds are really good or really bad. Nope, that lady's gone. She's a gunner. Let's give her some. We'll look the other way. They've, they've, I feel like that can't that can't be right. How close are we gonna get? Is he gonna push us into the building? Yes, he is. Let's just get... Oh! Okay. Please just stop there. <laughs> oh, man. If it... If our tail gets, like, stuck or something, that's gonna suck so bad. Okay, wait. So, where I hit the CD... Oh, hit calm. Oh! You're a genius, dude. Okay, wait. Let me put the ND back up there. Let's hit put calm down there. Let's set the parking brakes for him. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Yeah, good engine start. Talk bad push. Ground. Let's go flaps. Start. Five. Uh, auto brake RTO and uh, in terms of the departure procedure, we're gonna go ahead and go off the Eclipse One. Uh, top altitude on, on the SID is 8,000, so we'll go ahead and set that. Um, v speeds, hang on, I need this. Well, 156 V2. Hello, Ari. What's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Off runway 26, climb ahead at 258. So we'll set 258 up here. Then we'll go through a little flight control check. CPODC gen won't work if you're under flight level 280. Wait, what? CPDLC gen. Gen what? What do you mean, gen? Unlocking gear. Oh, you mean just like, like using the, uh, like the, I think, I think I get what you're saying. Like this type of stuff, like requesting altitudes and stuff. We had log on status. So like if we add K P H X Tow truck disconnected. Departure. I don't think they'll removed. 
I wonder if it'll get back to us about that. Left is aborted. Clear, yeah, no, because right there's nobody clear. there. Okay. Um, all right, we'll play with that some more once we get in the air, perhaps. We'll have some time up at cruise. Uh, give me the CDU back. Give me the CDU back. And then you take the NDU back. Um, it definitely doesn't work in the US, U.S. generally. Enter in the airport, Ikeo. Okay. All right, yeah, we'll do that whenever we get up in the air a little bit. Um, in terms of the squawk and stuff like that, they did give us one of these. 3116 on the squawk. Um... We'll go down here, transponder 3116. Bam. And uh, it's. There's a switch, isn't there? Doesn't it just. We'll go above for now. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Can't do that. Um, there it is. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. It's been a minute since I've been to 787. You have to cut me a break today. You're going to have to cut me a break. Okay. VHF will probably be on. Um, 18.7 for tower, 118.7, and then 122.8 over here, so we'll probably go with that. I like the YouTube vid from the A330 driver today. Yeah, I, okay, thank you. I'll look at it, um, because I was watching that video, and I didn't really pay too much attention to it, because I was like, oh, I'm not going to fly 77 anytime soon, but here we are. But yes, thank you. I did see that. We'll, we'll maybe, we'll go over it a little bit while we're in the air. Um, okay, and then flight control page is going to be over here. We'll go full right, full left, full up, full down. Oh, not quite full down, but that's okay. Shouldn't be having to go full down anyways. And full rudders, we're good to go there. Fuel-wise, we look good. Probably send the ICAS over there and take everything for ourselves. And now let's just see if we get stuck on the taxi out here or if we're going to be okay. Okay, good. Oh, nope, just kidding. We got stuck. Oh, geez, I'm really... Oh, no. GSX strikes again. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, man. Is it moving at all? Shut your engines off, select park, get work to park. Okay. Alright, we'll do that. Um, so let's go ahead and just make sure the APU's on so we're good. Okay, APU's on and running all that stuff, so we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and kill damn engines. And, uh, okay. We'll just select a parking spot. Zero suitable parkings. Just warp me there. Where did it put us? Where are we right now? Okay, that's not too bad, honestly. All right. So does it keep everything the way it is? Okay, it looks like it does actually. All right, that's actually kind of cool. All right, thank you, dog tag, saving the day. Uh, so can I start them up or what's the deal? Let's see, what's APU looking like right now? Mm, bring me stat or system. Okay, APU is running, so let's just try the engines again, I guess. Parking brake set. Let's set it. All right, so far so good. Let's give fuel. We're still flaps five. My only concern is this, the gens. I hope that doesn't, and the faults that we're seeing. Oh boy. Recall for GSX tug. No way. We're just gonna we're just gonna make a right turn out or a left turn out. Unless the GSX tug like fixes things. 
I can't imagine GSX fixing any issues though, so that's not, that's probably not gonna work. And these, oh, okay, we're good. The gen lights went away, pack lights are, the packs are fine. Everybody will just be a little hot. We'll roll, somebody crack a window. Okay, do I have lights on still, beacon lights still going? Okay, all right. Okay, should we be able to make that turn? Yeah, we'll be able to make that turn. We'll be just fine. All right, we already did our uh, after start flow for the most part. So we're just going to go ahead and get a taxi light on. And uh, what else? What did I say? Oh, APU off. That's right. Okay. All right. Let's try to get out of here this time. What do you say? Also, make sure you have auto save on on FSU IPC. I don't, uh, I don't know if I do. Is that... Well, what, what does that do? Honestly, I don't even know. Phoenix traffic, American 1's taxing out of the uh, East Hold Bay on Zulu to 26. Or er, er, Phoenix traffic. Dude, I always go back to saying American or whatever airline I'm flying for. It's so annoying. I'm an idiot. This little building right here, is it going to make it? I think it's going to make it. Ooh. Yeah, we're good. All right, I think we should be good on the taxi out. Go ahead out to Bravo and then make a right on uh, Bravo 1. It saves your flight, however, many, many, one every 10 minutes, etc. If you have a freeze crash or if you can reload the save flight and resume from there. Huh, that's cool. I'm not going to lie. Didn't even know that was a feature of uh, FSU IPC, so that's cool. I'll take a look at that in cruise as well, potentially. Hey, I don't know. That's pretty that's pretty good there. Maybe I meant to fly heavies. No, just kidding, bro. Alright, so we've got a couple things to mess around with at cruise. Um so we've got we've got a little bit of a longer uh flight ahead of us, so. Guys, I know it's hot in Phoenix for you guys, but departing runway 25 right. We're going off a of 26, brother. I just want to make sure that's what we have selected, though. Yeah, we do have 26 selected. We're going off 26 today. Um, Let me just check. Bats in traffic. There's like nobody here, anyways. Nobody out there either. Yeah, nobody out there. We're good. We're just going to go for 2-6. Hey, it's only 91 today. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. We hit 80 here for probably the first time in a while. But, um, man, I absolutely love this weather. This is absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, ooh, perfect. Yeah, it's it's so nice. Like these last few days have just been so absolutely gorgeous. So super happy about that. Where are you? Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So east east side. No two five right. All right, the Phoenix boys. The Phoenix boys are pressuring me into going two five right, dude. All right, should we? All right, fine. Fine. Well, this clown's 
clogging up the freaking. Is that the only way? Where's. Give me bats him back. Who's this? Who's this guy? Phoenix to Vegas. America 2090. Nah, listen, I was going to go. I was going to go, but this guy's in the way. We're going off two. We're sticking with two six. Oh, yeah. Big Steeler fan, dude. We're excited to see what they're going to do with this season, man. Excited to see from uh, with Russ and Justin Fields, man. It's exciting. <laughs> if you're going to do it right, if you're going to do it, do it right. Uh, listen, he's in the way. I can't, I, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? All right, this is going to be a tight turn. I shouldn't have. Why did I go? Oh, I shouldn't have gone all the way back here. Okay. All right. Phoenix traffic, American 1, taking runway 26 from Bravo 14, Phoenix traffic. Better do 18 right to DFW. That I think that's that's what we have set up for. We do have set up for 18 right. So we will be doing that into DFW. All right, get all lit up. Nice, you love the Steelers. My son bleeds black and gold. No, no way. Your dad played high school football with Jack Ham. That's sick, dude. Your son sounds like he sounds like a good man. Bleeding black and gold. Love it. All the way out in Phoenix. That's the thing I love about the Steelers, dude, is like the fan base is literally everywhere. Like there's Steelers bars in every part of the country. Like absolutely everything. Or everywhere, I guess. There's Steelers fans. So it's real it's really cool. Yeah, you guys can't root for the cards out there, that's for sure. So, Steelers it is. That's that's fair. All right, let's hit Toga, which is so easy to do on this plane. Checklist incomplete. Uh, it's common. All right, thrust is set just about. Knots. And V one rotate. Just that checklist one. Positive rate gears coming up. So pretty. All right, get back in here. Oh yeah, a lot of down trim with this thing. A lot of down trim. Ah, uh, let's give me VNAV. I don't have VNAV. Give me both. Let's go flaps one. I know, I'm so excited for that, Ari. I'm gonna go back and uh, get some of those missed chats here in a minute. I'm trying to lock in. Oop, not locking in. Flaps clean. Beautiful downtown Phoenix. That's not the Cardinal Stadium, is it? Is that where the D-backs play? Sheesh. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm not I got I'm not paying attention. We're just gonna we're gonna kick the autopilot on here and let her take over. That is D-back stadium. Okay, cool. Uh, and we're gonna get cleared up through 18, going up towards. Uh, we'll just go up to 390. 
right, give me a level change. It looks like it doesn't want us or wants to stop. We'll get 250 knots. All right, let's see. Let's take a look. It said South Mountain was on our left, so somewhere. Oh, this is this all South Mountain then? That is D-Back Stadium. Estrella, Estrella Mountains then. Dang. I love flying out here, man. This is gorgeous. Exactly, yeah. It, perfect. You guys gave me at the, at the perfect time. All right, switch to Unicom. Coming through 10. Uh, what's climb speed looking like? 301. All right, what if I give it back to VNAV? What is the Eclipse? Eclipse 1 has no altitude restrictions, really. It's just going to accelerate for us. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. All right, very nice. Get the music going again. Okay, sorry, let me, let's get outside because it's just so nice out here. Look at that, sheesh. Dang, that's gorgeous. Um, okay, let me see some of these chats. Plan to go to a Pittsburgh game this fall? Dude, that'd be sick. Yeah, those games are electric. I've been to uh, quite a few myself. Freshman in college now, dang, studying for sports marketing. He's just a couple years behind me. Um, Ari, yeah, super pumped for the 777. Dog tag, we're gonna go back. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and take a look at that video you sent to the, um, the Discord about the 350. I don't know when that's coming out, Ari. I hope soon, because that thing, that would be so sick to have in Microsoft, dude, honestly. Um, Ari says, we have a departure out of my airport called the Gila Crossing, and it's basically hugging the Estrella at 2,700, just 300 feet from the class Bravo. Dang, that's pretty sketch. Love you're going from one of my home airports to my main home airport. <laughs> I didn't know that about DFW. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe subconsciously honestly i wasn't like thinking about it whenever i picked phoenix i was just like american 787 okay phoenix it is and then like dallas obviously dallas is a huge hub but like it's just it's funny how that worked out that you guys are all from there and stuff that's cool Curious to see with the 380, 777, 350 drop in the same time frame. I don't know. The only thing that I don't know about the 380, man, it just, it really confuses me. Um, I really hope that it does come out soon, but I don't know. For some reason, I don't have a whole lot of hope in the A380 coming out soon, but I mean, that's just a total hunch. I could be wrong. The only 77 we get from American is a Honolulu. Oh, really? Yeah, I was looking on flight radar and there weren't any. Um, but I was just like, eh, surely it's happened once before, right? Surely a 787 has gone, American 77 has gone from Phoenix to Dallas. Maybe it's a charter, maybe it's something, but like surely it's happened once before. Did you get the triple seven from DFW? Okay. Dude, we would um, be able 
We're gonna do some crate. We're gonna do some sick triple seven ops whenever we get it, dude. Triple seven for United is gonna be so sick. And then, honestly, for American would be awesome too. But we don't fly for American right now, so. I was flying DFW to Phoenix in real life. Am I playing Gates to offer a three? Oh, 321 to a triple seven. That's cool. Yeah, dude, what a switch that is. Yeah, I'm thinking whenever the uh, 380 comes out, we switch up and we start flying for British Airways or something like that, or maybe like Emirates because of the, um, because they have like Emirates or British has everything. It has the 777, the, th the 787, and the 380, and the 350. So whenever all those come out, dude, flying for British would be like, would be money. Did you guys see what's going on in Dubai with all that rain? That's pretty freaking crazy. Let's just get a little shortcut. Let's just go direct phase. Air France is going to begin going from Charles de Gaulle to Phoenix on the 787. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think which plane in America I haven't flown on. 319, 787, 777, 300. Flown on everything else they have. That's pretty cool. Which is a Delta partner. That's cool. You flew in some 75 and 76. The American 75. I I, I kind of hate that they got rid of the 75 and the 76, dude. The company I work for got the contract for Air France. But you work for WFS already. Got to be super hard. That's pretty cool. Delta 767 to Atlanta to Munich back in 2008. That's pretty sweet, dude. We went to um, we went to Switzerland. About a month or two. A month is it now? April. So it was last month. We went in March. We went to Switzerland, and we connected in uh, Lufthansa, or <laughs> connected in Frankfurt, and we took the Lufthansa 747 over and got to sit in the cockpit for like afterwards, meet the pilots and stuff. That was pretty sick. Is that traffic or what there? It is. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're above 280. Take a look at this comm page and see what we can do. Log on to 747 would be sweet. Yeah, dude, it was really cool. The craziest thing, dude. So we were sitting in these, um, that's traffic. Yeah, I, I figured it out. Just looked weird. Normally it's just a diamond. It was weird to see like an arrow. But dude, we had, I was flying. Can I get through here? Got the charter. Con Whoa, look at that. That's kind of, what? That's crazy. <laughs> I 
got the charter contract with two 747s that came in last month for the pod the dodgers and the padres that's sick dude dude with the 74 though we were sitting in the middle row and so like i don't know like here ish or something and you could see the wing out the window or i guess we were farther back so it was like you could see like the wing tip like something like this and when we started rolling my girlfriend looked out the window she was like what like where'd the wing go and i was like what and i looked out and it was gone and it had flexed up that much like it was crazy you could see it like this and then by the time we started rolling and you know got up in the air it was like above the window so i don't know i just thought that was crazy like you know you hear about the flex and everything but to see it real time was was pretty wild got to work on him and see the cop that's pretty cool are you are you in um i know you said you were like a gonna be a cf double eye soon but are you in maintenance as well or Yeah, they do. Oh, you do work for WFS, though, eh? <laughs> That's funny. Um, you followed Lady on Ramp on YouTube. She's ground crew for American at Phoenix. Stig. Dude, love Stig. <clears throat> Worked at DHL flights and charter ops. Dang, so you have a terrible schedule then, Ari. Dude, Stig is the GOAT. I learned, I've learned so much from Stig. We're gonna take another shortcut here to the Echo Whiskey Mike VOR. Um, give me CDU. I watch Stig videos at night in bed. Yeah, Stig puts me to sleep in, a, in the best way, in the best way possible, dude. Fort Worth got off too. So now there's no ATC. Gosh dang it, we just missed it, dude. We almost had all full coverage and now we have nothing. So wait, so log on to, what if I just put KDFW? Does that do anything? I mean, no, it wouldn't now necessarily, but it's in. Yo, Jet Jogger, what's up bro? Welcome to the stream. Got to be airport 045 Mondays and then 0630 on other days of the week. Yeah, that's about right. Weather requests. So, Delta uh, Fox Whiskey. Surface actual. It's going good. Um. Had a couple hiccups with the old 787 so far, but um, overall, not bad at all, man. It's a beautiful day here. Can't complain. Getting to stream a little bit and hang out with you guys. So what else can I ask for here? How about you? What? Request the actual and forecast. Well, I don't even think it's gonna, it didn't work anyways, cause they're not online, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, you can only request one or the other. Aborted. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're out of luck, dude. That stinks. Are we allowed, like, can I pull up that video of him, of, uh... Of the A330 driver? Or is that, like, not allowed? I still have to get the seatbelt signs off. You didn't press send. You guys, bats in front of her doesn't use CPDLC. Oh, is that right? Oh, maybe I do need to redo this. Let's try send. Let's try it again. No idea. Okay. Aborted. Uh, what's our recommended level? Where would that be at? Optimum 395, so we should be able to get up to... We might be able to get up to 410 by the time this flight's over. It's okay. We'll just... Die, I guess, or something. I don't know. You have to be logged into a station for the A330's video. Okay, that makes sense. And there's only going to be a station if they're online. Just downloaded F1 2023. Think my rotor pedals work as gas and brake pedals? I think they would. So, like, Thrustmaster is, like, also a company that makes, um... Oh, shoot, I forgot about the wing lights and stuff. Did I forget about all these lights? Oops. Um, Thrustmaster also does, like, racing stuff, so that would make sense. All right, let's take a look at the, uh... Wait, let me take a look at Twitch actually real quick. Okay, we're not neglecting anybody, so that's good. British app, you some good 77 vids. Okay. We'll try to take a look at that. Oh, okay, I see. I saw you, uh... DM me here. I wanted to watch the, um... I want to watch the A380 video. Or 350, I'm sorry. That's a half hour? We might skip through it. I don't know. We'll see. It depends if it's interested or not. Interesting or not. How do we like the Discord, too, by the way? I'm actually having more fun with it than I thought I, than I, thought, uh, I would. Wait, real quick. <laughs> Mateo. I love last, yeah, the flight radar video, I saw that. I just, I can't help but like imagine that it's probably pretty annoying to the pilots for that guy to be up there for who knows how long, just like asking him questions, you know. I'm gonna minimize our, our lovely Discord chat. Let's pause the music. Let's see uh, what the what this has to say. Okay, nothing really crazy. Should we join their Discord to see what's up? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I do actually real quickly want to turn the master volume down. Oh shoot, that was wrong. Uh, general options, uh, sound, uh, master, we'll go to like 30 just for our ears sake while we listen to this video. Hey everyone, and welcome to the long awaited third episode. So this is obviously not my content. This is from Digital Flight Dynamics. Um, so again, I'm not sure if we're allowed to do this or not, but, uh, yeah, 
again, this is not my content at all. This is all being covered by the Digital Flight Dynamics A350, which I thought was getting taken over by any builds. Of the but Discover I don't know. 350 update series. My name is Sebastian, and we're really excited to finally bring you all a new episode showcasing a substantial amount of the progress we've made over the past year or so. We've made a ton of progress on both the 3D modeling and avionics since the last update. We want to start by thanking our community members for their patience as we work to develop this high fidelity freeware aircraft. We'd also like to thank our team of volunteer developers and contributors that day in and day out contribute their free time to help bring this amazing aircraft to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Additionally, we want to thank our network of A350 mechanics and pilots that have assisted in providing us with images and information of the rearward aircraft and feedback on our progress. The A350 is a spectacular aircraft full of intricate ins and outs, and we're aiming to cover these ins and oh, outs. Oh, it's going to be freeware. To an enjoyable Which one got taken over by Fly-by-Wire? Or um, we sorry, apologize for the long delay in. in between these updates, but we've been focusing all of our time and energy onto development and making more progress, rather than putting together another update video. But with all that aside, let's get to the update you've all been waiting for. Going to skip out the middle of the vid. Okay gray box stuff all right well let's I'll, we'll see the cockpit hey what do you mean this is good i want to see the cockpit let's start with the 3d modeling side first you might remember me from the last episode as one of the 3d artists on the team i'm now the new lead 3d modeler and i'm pleased to say that we've made great progress since the last update we are starting off with a part of the aircraft you will be spending most of your time in the cockpit there have been right, significant any reworks time and additions so let's get right into it First of all, we have completed all parts necessary the okay, for operating cool. the flight controls. This includes the tiller, which is used to control the nose landing gear steering of the aircraft, as well as the rudder pedals used for the rudder. Flashlight, which is placed separate. The oct something independently by each pilot, both sides. 250 has a very asymmetrical layout. The left side, looking towards the nose of the plane, features a smaller jump seat with its own console, with oxygen mask, cup holders, an audio panel. And on this side we can also find fire resistant gloves, a crowbar and a fire extinguisher. Mm. Switching to the right side we can see this once again a table with the so called OMT orts and date hangers. It has its own light switch and a net to secure any baggage from moving during which are stored right with AR-25 seats found exclusively on the A350. Dang. The curved backside includes a life vest and the seat can be electrically moved using these switches. Now let's take a look back and take in the full view of the cockpit, comparing it with the last progress update. The frames around the windows have received a major rework, improving their detail and accuracy. But they are far from finished. So and we added the seats. Last progress update. The frames around the windows have received a major rework, improving their detail and All accuracy. Right, more, a little more than seats. But they are far from finished and will require more tweaking and some details. So what is now left to do in the cockpit? Well. Apart from countless minor or major tweaks in all areas, the biggest construction That's site for cool. now will be the roof of the cockpit and the heads-up display. With all that, let's walk out of the cockpit and into our all-new cabin. Let's, let's, let's see. And we feel, well, it has a 3-3-3 three, three, three seat configuration, it's pretty solid. which provides enough space for the passengers on longer. Great comfort, great latches. Hey, it looks good. Not a huge cabin guy, but the exterior, okay. All right. I remember this video when they, when it came out. This was pretty cool.
Hello, my name is Hello. Anil, but otherwise known as MJ. I joined the team 11 months ago after watching the second episode of Discovery 350. I was amazed touch by what oh, I saw in touch regards screen. to the project mm. and decided that I wanted to help create what Digital Flight Dynamics right, dog, dog, aims to watching. create a high fidelity A350. I mainly work on the exterior model of the A350X, which has been completely reworked from the ground up since episode 2. This new model was created on a completely new platform and as what I would call a model template, which will allow us to create other variants of the A350X in the future and in this case the Dash 900 variant. When it comes to this aircraft in particular, it has a very unique yet difficult airframe to model I will say I like that the developers are doing this type of stuff now like this has become a thing rework, recently it seems like where they kind of like walk through their airplane and like and shape let the developers this even work more on those actual specific sections talk about what they've been working on material specifically for I really the like that they do this now of the a350 okay however Go away. we were able to still pull off a very close representation of the actual aircraft thanks to many pictures videos and documents which show important measurements. These measurements allowed us to recreate the exterior model of the Airbus A350 at a one-to-one -one scale. Taking a look at what is also a big part of the exterior, the landing gear. Specifically for this update, the nose landing gear, or short NLG, yeah. it Agreed, has received dog, dog, a full huge. rework, adding a much higher level of detail and improving accuracy overall. Next up is a close-up look at the beautiful nose shape of the A350 with a bit of reflection to show off the smoothness and curve of the nose structure. This is another angle of the nose area with an array of thin light reflections from the fuselage showing even more of the curvature. In addition to the close-up nose interior. section showing the nose holder deep flight that seat of a door of those us also modeled at on the Rolls-Royce Trend XWB-97 engine model. The Onyx team. Today, I'll be talking about the progress we've made on the Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitor, or more commonly known as the ECAM on Airbus systems. The ECAM is a crucial interface that is used to monitor the status of the engines and various aircraft systems. In this update, we will be focusing on the SD, or system display, which can be seen here. Within each page of the system display, we have carefully crafted accurate representations for every aspect of each page. Just like other aircraft, these pages can be dynamically changed based on the status of the aircraft or by manually switching pages. We're first going to start with the engine page on the system display. There are two sides to this page representing the data for each engine. This data includes engine fuel flow, N2 and N3 rotational speeds, oil quantity, temperature and pressure, and engine vibrations. Near the bottom of this page, there's also data for engine start and ignition, including start valves and inlet pressure. To demonstrate the functionality of this page, we can do a quick engine start. As you can see, the attention getting box appears on the engine that is currently being started, and the starter valve opens. Note that this is using the default engine model in the simulator, so not all values are accurate to the engine start on the real A350. Now that engine 1 has been started, the starter valve closes and the attention getting box disappears. Then the same sequence starts for engine 2. Moving on to the door page, this displays the status for all doors in the aircraft as well as other miscellaneous data such as crew oxygen, cabin vertical speed, and rain repellent fluid levels. The cabin vertical speed Dang. is not shown right now as it is only displayed when the plane is in the air. On the left side, you can see this top view outline of the aircraft showing the status of all the doors. Since I'm on the runway, all indications are outlined in green meaning that the doors are all closed and locked. The passenger doors also have this slide indication next to them, 
meaning that the slides are armed in the case of an emergency. Now for the wheel SD page. This page displays the status of the landing gear doors, wheels, and brakes. The brake pressure for the two main landing gears can be seen at the top right. If I disengage the parking brake, you can see that the pressure goes down to zero on both sides. If I use the toe brakes, pressure corresponds to the percentage of braking. There's not much else to show on this page right now, so let's move on to the fuel page. As you can probably tell, the fuel page displays data about the fuel usage F and the fuel in all of the planes tanks. As of right now, fuel usage calculations still need to be implemented, so those values are at zero. Toward the middle here, you can see the three fuel tanks. Each tank has two fuel pumps, which are represented by these squares. The fuel quantity in each tank is also displayed, as well as the temperatures inside the wing tank. Above the center tank, you can see two cross-feed valves to allow for fuel transfer. They're currently closed, but if opened, there are lines to indicate where the fuel is flowing. Lastly, there's a fuel flow indication on the bottom left, which displays the combined fuel flow of both engines. The next pages are electric AC and DC pages. The electrical system was already shown in episode one of Discover 350, so we won't be sh Next is the hydraulic SD page. This displays information about hydraulic fluid levels, temperature, pressure, and the statuses of different pumps and valves. As you can see, there are two sides to this page, one for each engine. At the top of each side, the hydraulic pressure is shown for the green and yellow reservoirs. Right now, in our cruise station, we're here with uh, control see. services such okay. as the rudder, see what this. elevators, What's up, Mateo? Welcome to the stream, bro. Hope it also how you doing? Hope you have a good day. Angles, the status of flight control computers and hydraulic actuators. Right now, all control surfaces are in their neutral position. The rudder trim and deflection is shown at the top with elevators and the pitch trim just below that. The ailerons are shown near the bottom at the ends of the wing graphic. If I move the rudder, elevators, and ailerons, you can see that the elements change accordingly. Also, if I change the trim levels, the values will react accordingly as shown. At the top left, under the page title, you'll notice that this page can display more data. We can enable now as you can, and all the hydraulic, you guessed it, the APU. The area on the top left shows the APU generator load, frequency, and rate, as well as the status of the APU has used so far. The two gauges to the bottom left show the N1 and EGT as of yet. Shows detail APU, the PAP C in Texas is here. Air we think cargo on avionics developer here at DFD. For the past several months, we've been working on a fully custom say. MFD, also known as the multifunction display. It consists of things like the FMS, ATC communications, checklists, and more. Today, we'll be focusing on the FMS, so I'll be showing some of the FMS pages that we've completed so far. Before moving on to that, however, Please note that none of the FMS is actually functional for creating flight plans as of yet. Oh. We are waiting on FMS V2 from fly-by-wire simulations, which will be used on their A380X and of hmm. course our A350X. That's pretty cool. Alright, so this is our brand new MFD. The large drop-downs you see lined up at the top represent the different categories of pages available on the FMS. Since, of course, the first officer's side is separate, I can open a different page there while retaining the current page on the captain's side, like okay, so. Hey, you're late because you just finished a flight for pilot's life. It's okay. That's an acceptable reason on to be late. On the captain's side, the Thanks initialization by, page is shown, where you can initialize the flight plan. I can input a different value for the flight number here, such as DFD A through 50. As you can see, the flight nice number detail. display at the top right reacts accordingly. I can also input origin and arrival destination. In the middle, I can input the cruise flight level, cost index, 
and I can change the FMS speed mode using this drop down. The lower part of the page consists of buttons that allow for easy access to other useful pages. If I click on the IRS button here, FMS will navigate to the IRS position page. Here you can see my current GNSS position as well as the status of the three inertial reference systems. Now I'll navigate to the position monitor page. The basic idea of this page is that it allows you to monitor position data of the GNSS and IRS and more. The position GNSS page here provides detailed information about both GNSS systems including coordinates, number of satellites, position accuracy, track, UTC time, altitude, and ground speed. At the top, there's an option list where you can select or deselect the use of GPS sensors to calculate the GNSS position of the aircraft. It is set to selected by default. The last thing we'll show on the MFD today is the position time page. Now there's a lot going on. Wolfie, here, so hello, go welcome to the chat. Sessions. My cat is At in the, the top, chat. Nice. Lane is negative 293, not bad, not simulator. bad. There's also Been an option there. list here where I can choose to manually or automatically set the aircraft time reference, but I'll leave it to auto for now. Lots of technical stuff, the but I think it's going to be a great plane. Yeah, is a drop I think down for the permanent data setup. The permanent data. I think there's definitely a lot of a uh, of e lot of potential here. here. I mean, definitely the <gasps> excuse me, the, the mindset is definitely there. Or just the UTC time. Let's check out the this thing, and then we'll be done watching this. I'm an avionics developer here at DFT. Oh, what do you say? Hi everyone, I'm Viper. I'm an avionics developer here at DFT. Over the past few months, we've been reworking the OAS to improve accuracy and functionality. The OAS, known as the Onboard Information System on the A350, hosts information throughout the flight that the pilots can use such as airport charts, performance calculations and much more. Due to the different variations of the OAS that different airlines have, we've settled on a universal style which closely resembles the default program. Today, I'll be showcasing our work in progress takeoff. Like the 350 more so than the 380. Yeah. Right now, we're in the flight operations I have menu. So like let's more experience with the 350 take. from X planes. So I mean, I would agree with As that. As you can see, the parameters for this calculation have already been input. Also, you may notice on the right side that most values are labeled inoperative. The calculation is still very rough and doesn't have full functionality yet, so it will continue to be refined and added upon. Alright, so all I have to do now is click Compute to initiate the calculation. It takes around 5 seconds, just how it does in the real OIS. Now that the calculation is complete, the flex temperature, V1, VR and V2 speeds are all shown. Please note that these values are not 100% accurate to the real IS, so as I said before, the formulas will continue to be refined. What change on the 787 Wolfie? We have um, CPDLC now. Right then. That's all um, we wanted to show for now. I know it's been a long wait since the last update, so I really hope you enjoyed this CPDLC, which apparently we can't even use in the United States, so that kind of sucks. If you have any questions um, or just want to chat with other members. If you're interested in working with us to develop the A350X, you can fill out the application form linked below. And if you are a pilot, engineer, mechanic, or work with A350s in any other way. All right, cool. That was a cool video. Um, the 77 basically just got CPDLC, which like I said, is kind of disappointing that we can't really use on this flight because all the ATC got off and I don't know if they use it in the US. Um, and also, uh, I think that that's, that's like the major change. It's just been a while since we've flown it. Uh, we, Mateo, we're going from Phoenix to Dallas. And how much longer? That's a good question. 350 miles to top of descent. Um, it's saying at 2304. 2327 now that I updated it currently. Is it right? It's at uh, 2244. That is right. So we'll be there in about... Um, I don't know, 45 minutes, top of descent. So, probably got somewhere around an hour, hour and a half left of the stream. 
Yeah, though. 350 looks good. Um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for everything. When's the 777 going to come out, Mateo? Soon, we hope. We hope soon. Um, we've been hoping soon for a while, and um, like I said, we're going to hope for, for soon as well moving forward. Um, same thing with the A380 and all these other planes. We just got, we've got so many cool planes coming out, um, and uh, just really looking forward to, to a lot of them, so... Go ahead and get the music back on. Yeah, Wolfie, the CPLD, CPDLC is essentially like all this right here. It's it's in the com menu. It's all the new stuff. But like I said, it's um, nothing that we can really do right now. It's a really cool feature. I saw the new A380 came out. Uh, Mateo, no, not yet. It has not come out yet. Yeah, Wolfie, it's really cool. Um, really looking forward to all these new updates and everything. Yeah, the bad A380. There, there is one, but it basically just has a 320 cockpit, so that's not what we're looking for, you know? Uh, Mateo, in terms of the good A380, dude, honestly, I don't know. We were just talking about that earlier. I I don't have a whole lot of hope that it's going to come out, like, super soon. I feel like that's probably going to be the last one that we're going to see out of the 757 and the 777 and the 350. Maybe not the 350. That sounds like it still has a long way to go. But I feel like that and the 350 will probably come out more or less the same time as opposed to uh, anything else. So I think it's going to be a while before we see that.
What was Matteo? What is that? Do you know how to take that? E oh, echo in your voice. Um, I don't. I did notice that, Matteo. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you could try just watching some YouTube videos and checking out some OBS settings. I don't know if that's what you're using to stream it or if you're just using YouTube in general, but maybe it's something in there. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. Ari's back. Father was talking about Boeing and stuff going on, so I had to explain him most of his accents for Boeing issues. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's weird being on the inside of aviation stuff and having to explain to other people, like, what do you think about the Boeing crashes? It's like, well, first of all, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Second of all, you know. But, uh, I'm actually going to take a little break here. We have how far to go to the top of descent? 253 miles to go to the top of descent. Uh, I'll be back before that. But uh, the crew meal has just arrived, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to go do that for a little bit, and uh, I will be back in a few minutes.
All right, I'm back. It looks a little less deserty, so we must be pretty close to Dallas. Oh, 80 miles. Perfect. Look at that. All right. So we'll start getting set up. Excuse me for our descent. Let's take a look. I guess we'll go. We'll go here. Why not? Oh wait, is it actually this is coming? Up? Oh yeah, because it's in Microsoft. Never mind. Uh, is it gonna be the actual one? It is. Okay. So. Okay. We're gonna look at the Boove 6. We're coming inbound towards Geeky right now. Our first altitude restriction is at Giblet. Between 300 and 240. So let's just go ahead and, uh, what's the best way to gonna be to do this here? Let's make this a little smaller per chaps. Stick it, oh. <coughs> All right, that's close enough. <clears throat> Giblet 300240, 230 and 200 at Darb. Uh, Boof, Shimp, Curly, Mo, Delmo, and then on the downwind for uh, runway 18 right, Ari. Um, we're going to use one runway 18 right tonight. Let's get the weather, uh, into DFW. And we'll go to the init ref. Go flaps 30. Um, 17011 on the altimeter. Still working on airspace sectionals. I already sent me a very handy website. All right. There's a lot of good, just like charts too. Like if you Google, I I always bring one with me on my uh, on my check rides. I had like a paper cutout, um, and I always brought one with me. And if he let me use it, I would. I think airspace is for me kind of clicked. I didn't, I never really needed too much like help with understanding them, but um, it's definitely a lot at first. Uh, what was I going to do? Set the altimeter at, uh, 2987. The ILS 18 right. Minimums on the chart are going to be 807. Boo. Oh, hang on, stand by.
Yeah, sorry, Mateo. I just I got a phone call. I'm back though. <clears throat> um. Okay, let me go back up. I saw some stuff here. Uh, during my pro, tried to go around three times. Yeah, you'll have that. Uh, Wolfie, don't mean to sound stupid, but what's a check ride? Uh, you're good, Wolfie. Wolfie, it's basically a uh, driver's test for pilots. So like, um, they'll have you take you up, do all kind of maneuvers and stuff like that, um, and grade you on your performance during said maneuvers. So it's basically, you know. Remember, you know the anxiety you got from parallel parking on your driver's test? It's like that for every maneuver you do. Uh, um, Wolfie also says, when is that? Is that when someone else is flying? Oh, no. No, uh, it's just like I said. Just like the pilot, the uh, driver's test. There it is. Mateo, when am I going to do a 737 flight? I don't know. I'll do one again soon. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I have those new, uh, the A320 throttles that I've been loving. So I've been using that and, uh, and this obviously. So no, Wolfie, you're good. You weren't, you weren't that far off. I mean, oh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's close enough. It's all the same thing. Um, Uh, did you get the Thrustmaster Airbus? Wolfie, no. I got the, um, if you look back a couple videos ago, I put on there the, uh, ProDesk Sim throttles. It's basically like, uh, it's like you just use the Bravo throttle quadrant, but they, like, 3D print Airbus-specific stuff, and it's got, like, detents and, like, flap gates and stuff, and it's really cool, and they do other ones for, like, Boeing, and I want to get the 737 ones, too, so... Uh, it's pretty cool. We need to fly down to St. Martin Max or do a Caribbean flight. Yeah, dude, I agree. We got to maybe do some, uh, we got to maybe do some of that stuff. Oh, did we do a verse? No, we didn't. Good quite that good point. Mateo, it's a quick one. So thank you for reminding me that. Yeah, I'm atted to fly to the 737 when you fly it. Atted? I'm atted. Mateo, you're going to have to explain that one to me, brother. <laughs> um... Let's do the verse of the day. It's in the description below, bibleapp.com, uh, or boy, I guess it's just bible.com, but uh, from you version, Luke 636, be merciful even as your father is merciful. So it kind of goes back to what we were talking a little bit about yesterday. And um, it's just saying like, treat others the way you want to be treated. You know, if God held us accountable for every single thing that we ever did wrong, then we'd be in a heck of a lot of trouble. And if we held everybody else accountable for everything they did wrong, then, you know, then they were saying, okay, like, oh, thank you, Lord. Like, yes, you should forgive me for that, God. Thank you for your forgiveness and your grace and your mercy in that area. But this person doesn't deserve forgiveness because they, like, called me a name or punched me in the face or cheated on me or whatever. Like, you have to forgive people because God forgives you period end of story like if you don't want to forgive people then why do you deserve god's forgiveness type thing mateo you're gonna have to get a little more specific than that too addict addicted oh addicted 
Um, Mateo, addicted is uh, A D D I C T E D. Addicted. Think so, right? Yeah, A D D I C T D E D. Addicted. I think it's addicted, Wolfie. We've also started our descent. Um, I have auto brake too because the reversers are sometimes funky in these things, but I've done some work on them and I hope I've got them fixed. But we're just going to play it safe and go auto brake too, just in case. <clears throat> but yeah, everything's looking pretty good so far in the descent. Thanks, hard word. Yeah, no problem, Mateo. No problem. Good job sounding it out, though. all the time yeah when i landed today reverse would not work and yeah mateo i don't know what the deal is with the reverse for sometimes but like you just have to go back into your settings and meth with meth meth you have to meth with stuff now you gotta mess with it till till you can just try to hopefully get it right let's just check vats and make sure we're not descending into active airspace here like we've we've done before Dude, everywhere else is online. Houston's online and Memphis is online. Everywhere else except for us. Yo, Kingsley, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Guys, I don't know. I'm itching to fly some long haul stuff in a pilot's life. I, I might... Like, I feel like I have to pull the trigger on something here soon. Also, let me work on... Let me get the, uh... Cheeky Divert. <laughs> Wolfie. That, uh... That is... Maybe the best idea you've ever had. Cheeky Divert. Do we Divert to Houston? <laughs> It's just a bit south. Oh, oh. Is anybody on here right now from Texas? I know we've had some Texas people in the past, but. Dang, this thing is beautiful, dude. Look at this thing. This thing is so good looking. Dude, I can't wait for the 737 Max, too. That thing's gonna be so sick. All these planes that PMDG has coming out, I'm excited for it. Aw, oh, dude, Houston Approach just came online, too. Nothing wrong with a cheeky emergency diver due to ATC issues. They get so mad if you do, like, stuff like that. Why'd you ask about Texas? Or what did I, I was just asking if anybody here is from Texas because I was gonna ask about um, an airline down there. Probably. It's those 
those lights. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? There's something where, like, if you put all these to that, I think, then the master controls it or something. Um, Ari, have you heard of, like, uh, shoot, now I'm blanking on the name. The, uh, American Pipeline Patrol, I think it is. Oh, now also freaking New Orleans has tower on today. Oh. Not like we were just there or anything and they didn't have tower on. Dang, bro, look at this freaking bird. This thing is sick. Ooh, passenger sign. Seatbelt sign, they need to go on. This game is beautiful. said an airline in Texas. I, I know that American Pipeline is not an airline. That's not what I meant. If I said airline, it's been a job. I've heard of it. Okay. Like, you heard of anybody, like, going through there, like, or anything like that? Like, American Patrols? Yeah, whatever. Whatever it is. Like a bald eagle, man. Yeah, dude. Something about this thing in the American colors, too, just screams red, white, and blue. Looks so sick. Dang, bro, look at that. No, I haven't. Okay, no worries. Dang, bro, that looks so good. Okay, you've done some survey jobs. Um, Ari. What's the altimeter? 2987. Alright, Mateo, see you later. Hope you have a great rest of your day, Mateo. Oh, Wolfie. Uh, we do have a Discord now. Let me, uh... Bam! Yo, Zach, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. We do have a Discord. Flight Sim Captain's Epic Chill Zone. That is our epic name. Um, I need to actually real quickly... Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna do that so that I can, uh... Just been flying for training. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Get rid of that. So I'm gonna put that in the description of the video. And hopefully get hired by your school in a few weeks. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Good for you. Do you, do you think? Do you have a chance at do, doing that, or is it like one of those things that uh, you know maybe like? Is that not something... I don't know. Do you like your chances of getting hired or no? What? Okay, I just put the, uh... Alright, so speaking of which, you should add or ask a CFI or pilot text channel to it. 
very good chance he is a train me for zero hours though. Fair enough. Um Yeah, uh what was I gonna say? That was Ari, that was kind of my my goal of the achievements tab, I guess. Um, also, I just put it in the description, so yeah, just refresh it, close the app, do whatever you gotta do to, to do that, and uh, and join up, dude. We already got. I don't know how, how many people are in this already. I feel like it's already like a decent amount, though. Key members. We have. It doesn't say. Oh wait, they're indexing the server, whatever that means. Um. Yeah, Zach, go ahead, request, um, yeah, dude, request whatever. Got it, you're welcome, Wolfie, no problem. Let me see, we already have 12 members in the Discord, and I put it up last night, so that's pretty sick. So keep joining, keep joining. Do you like your instructors? Um... King Slayer, is that for, if, I don't know if that's for me or Ari, but, um... Yeah, I've liked all my instructors so far. Um, yeah, actually, one was my roommate for a while there. <clears throat> I will stick with this airspeed for now and the approach. We're looking for the ILS 18 right. Um, final approach fix is at uh, 2400 so let's keep this descent coming it's like 2000 now and let's probably vertical speed it honestly But yeah, man, I've, I've really liked uh, the majority of my instructors. We've also, we've got traffic in front of us here. Let's take a look at um, tower. Bruh, I mean, we're on the west side, so 2415, I guess. Traffic American 1 is left down, or a, uh, sorry, correction, right downwind. Runway, uh, 1 8 right. Forward traffic. But yeah, um, I've liked all my flight instructors so far. Let's get that speed break out a little bit there. CYYT St. John's is their home airport. Okay. What kind of flights go in and out of there, Zach? Right down when we need to turn right. Yeah, that's why I accidentally said left at first. I still get confused with that stuff, dude. Like, cause you're on the left side of the airport, right? So you think you'd be left downwind for this runway, but you're actually a uh, a right downwind because you're making a right turn. So yeah, good good catch there, Wolfie. You're much smarter than my cat. Looks like Air Canada and like Porter stuff go out of there. But yeah, that could be cool. How far is like a flight to Toronto from there? It looks like it's pretty much. You see YYT to CYYZ in a 320. Yeah, like three hours. Dang, that's far. Holy crap. Like wait, maybe like Halifax or something? Halifax, okay. Well, they do. Montreal. CYUL. Montreal is probably not too much. It's not too much closer. 
Yeah, Wolfie, no worries, dude. Yeah, we will see about that, um, Zach, because that, it's kind of, those are some far flights. Like, wherever we want to go, it seems like. Um, all right, let's see what they, what these clowns are doing here. I'm about to cut this guy off. He's in front of us. I'm not seeing anything. Typically, through 20s from CYYZ. Okay. Is there anybody on 122.8? Fourth chapter American ones right down on way 18 right Fort Worth. This is like a really long, I guess it's not all that far. From Halifax, it's an hour, okay. All right, maybe we'll do that. We'll go to Halifax, maybe. All right, we're turning inbound here. Oh no! Uh, uh, uh. No. No, stop doing this. <laughs> them off we're doing it so we're gonna be a turn to basically the north because we're landing on 18 anyway so good old dfw arrivals yeah i don't know what uh or did i say the north i meant the east fourth traffic american ones right base runway 18 right fort worth May pick the speed up a little bit for him because it looks like we it looks like he's turning base also but i don't know why he took it out so far um let's get the speed break away let's keep this turn coming and look to intercept let's get about a 150 heading for now and go ahead and arm approach mode 200 200 knots is fine order flies the e195 there yeah that's um i was looking at that i saw some of those too but uh i don't have the 195 maybe we could do some 170 175 ops um but we'll see i do want to get the 195 i'm just kind of waiting until it gets vnav though let's see did we cut this guy off where's he at on that sim I mean, look, we're ready, okay? He wasn't ready. It's a dog eat dog world out here. And we're eating. Uh, final approach fix is meaty. Will he butter it? Probably not, dude. I always, um, I'm trash at the 787. So we'll see. We're going to turn off the music as well and lock in here. Fourth traffic, American 1's a uh, 45 to the right base, runway 18 right. Fourth traffic. I don't know what frequency we're on here, by the way. I'm just making calls on both of them because nobody's doing anything. Let me see. If I go to the BFR sectional... What does it say? Oh, where did it go? Fort Worth. 2295 is probably the Unicom, but that's okay.
Alright, we're going faster than him anyways. Let me try 122... 95 in place of Unicom. Fourth traffic, American 1's, uh, 45 to the right, base runway, 1A right, fourth traffic. I don't know, man. I'm not sure if the approach mode armed. Uh, oh, shoot, it's not. You're right. I thought it was. It's not. Oh! This thing has problems overshooting anyways, but that one was on us. That one was on us. So we'll see what it does here. Good call. Did I do altitude hold? Is that what I did? I might have. Let's go 180 flight level change. See, it already clicked out of... Hey, yo. Hello? Where are we going here? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Alright. 180 knots. Flight level change to 2,000. That's what I was going for there. So let's uh, work on that, shall we? Okay, heading select, arm approach mode again. Uh, we have localizer capture. Flight level change to 2,000. Let's go gear down, flaps 10. We're too high, so we're going to go ahead and just dive this thing down for now until we intercept the glide slope. Try not to let the speed run away from us here. No, keep it coming. I'm probably just going to try to hand fly this from here. Final approach speed is 145. We're just going to go ahead and bug that now. <coughs> oh, let me get... There we go. Alright, let's disarm everything. There we go. Let's go flaps 20. Okay, here we go. And flaps 30. Alright, start the recording. Somehow we're stable. Jeez. Kinda. chances of a greaser here guys I hate to say it I don't think that was too terrible. Negative five foot per minute I'm seeing on there. Maybe I must have bounced it or something. We've got two reversers out, which are good. Spoilers are up as well, coming through 80 knots. Let's go ahead and get reversers away. Manual brakes. All right, that was pretty good. Other than the whole unstable approach thing. Make sure we don't see this landing on Mentor Pilot, bro. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Alright.
Uh, we are clear of the runway. Amer er, Fort Worth traffic, American 1 is clear of 18 right. Get taxi to the gate, Amer er, Fort Worth traffic. I always say that. I always say that. All right, let's get the lights off. Let's get those off. Taxi light coming on. I'm sorry, I think that's off. Uh, beacon light, nav light staying on. Strobe lights coming off. And let's get the flaps all the way up. And the speed brakes down as well. I don't know if I've ever seen anything from Mentor Pilot. Let me see what's going on the, with the flaps here. All right, they're coming up. I don't think there's anybody on 18. What is this? This could be left. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody on 18 left, so we can go ahead and cross here. I love these heavies, though, man. I can't wait for this 777 to come out, but I, this is so. This makes it so tempting to just get the 787. Cause I'm gonna get it anyways, guys. Should we just get it? No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I want to wait till the schedule's over because we're at least gonna. I'm gonna wait till the schedule's over. My current United schedule because we have to wait till that's done anyways before I switch. Well, I guess I don't. We kind of do. He does detailed aircraft accident videos. Oh dang, that sounds pretty. Cool. I'll have to watch it sometime. Alright, let's get the APU started. Oh, he's a 737 captain? Okay, that's pretty cool. From Quality Wings? No, Ari, I just mean, um, I want to get it on uh, a pilot's life. I really want to get the 787 on a pilot's life and just say screw it because I want to wait for the 777 because I know as soon as I buy it, as soon as I buy the 787 on a pilot's life, the 777 is going to come out and I'm going to be ticked. But I don't know. Flying the heavies is just so much fun. Like I'd love to do this in, in a pilot's life, but I'm gonna wait. I right, rolling a Delta 22. Not sure how accurate that is. Probably not very. And we'll see if we can't give this thing a halfway decent stop. All right, let's set them. And let's just make sure the APU's running system. APU's up. APU gen is on. Let's go ahead and kill these engines. Strobes are off, taxi lights coming off, engines coming off. Whoa, front of the floor. Pretty good view. Nice. You'll earn the money back fast, man. Ah, uh, that's all right. I'm going to wait till we're done with the schedule like we talked about because I have to do that anyways. I will turn that off and uh, everybody can go ahead and start deplaning. Yeah, Wolfie, it's it's definitely tempting. But I think I'm going to wait till the schedule's over so that I can focus on flying this last little bit out. But, um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody who tuned in. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, we've been talking all day on there. We just started up last night. We've already got quite a few members on it, so that's pretty cool. So, like I said, join the Discord if you guys haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, honestly. I'm kind of 50-50 on that. Uh, I'll try to let you guys know because I'm going to be flying. I'm going to work in the morning, and then I'm flying in real life. And then I have stuff to do Thursday night. So not sure if I'm going to get tomorrow's stream off. But, yeah. Great to talk to you guys as always. Um, thanks for being here. Can't wait to see you guys next time. And God bless.